Hello all, we are now inside the cabin of Olympia Crane Mountain Tower East of the Federation Complex. The crane operator, Dmitry, will tell us about his daily working routine here. Hi Dmitry. Hello. So we are in the crane and here I can see a control panel. Please tell us about it. Yes, it's a computer display showing me the boom reach of the crane. Now it says 43.6 which means 43 meters and 60 centimeters. Here it shows the load weight zero and the level of load above ground 331 meters. Here is the turn radius and this is the path length on the rails but we don't have it. Down here is the anemometer. It shows us the wind speed. On the left is another monitor which shows us the picture from the video camera installed at the end of the boom. So, I can see what's going on down on the ground. Um, it's too far and we can't see it behind the building. Thus, we can monitor the crane operation, see what the riggers are doing down there and so on. Right now, we are unloading a bin with waste metal. There, you can see that we emptied the bin. Oh, so you can zoom the image. So we can control the camera from here. Make the object closer or farther. True. Well, the picture is not quite clear and from here we can control the camera, zoom the image and monitor the whole process. The riggers are going to give a command to move left to put the bin on the ground. Then they will be able to hook the bin and I will lift it up. This is how we work. And the crane is swinging a bit. For me, it is a bit unusual to feel that. Well, we are already used to this, so it's not a problem because if you pay attention to this waggle, there will be no work and you have to be attentive not to hurt people. What's the maximum safe working load on the crane now? With this boom length, I'll tell you that. It's 7.5 tons, seven and a half here. So this chart shows us safe working loads. Yes, it's it probably won't be able to lift seven and a half tons now, but five and a five, five and a half is okay at this boom reach. Did you work on other cranes? This one is a leaper with a rotary boom. Yes, I worked on all kinds of cranes, on carriage cranes whose booms do not move. There are various brands in the market, leapers as well, like 140, 180, 200 and 245. And the basics of operation are the same. There are cranes that uh, work on the afterflow and counterflow principles. But the other controls are the same. Nothing scary. Two levels. Can you tell us how you control the crane? Well, with my right hand, I control only the up and down load movements. My left hand can control the up and down boom movement and make a left and right turn. So my left hand can make four operations and the right one only two. This means that my left hand has more work to do and that's it. And what about these buttons here? Yeah. 
These ones on the right turn the crane off and on. So now you can see it's back to normal operation. Here you can turn the lights in the cabin on and off. And this red lamp indicates that something is wrong with the crane, that some errors have been made. And on this display I can see then the code number for the error, then I can look this code up in a special chart. And here on the left there are window washer control knobs. Then there is another alarm signal and in the second row there are buttons to change gears from light to heavy load. We mainly operate in the medium load mode. The light load mode can be used to reach the ground faster when the load is high above the ground. So you can work faster then. Nothing complicated. It may seem hard at first, but in fact there is nothing to be afraid of. Do crane operators happen to have grades or categories like cooks or other specialists? Yes, crane operators can be 4th or 5th grade. We have the 5th grade. And what does it mean? It means we can operate various crane models on Leapers, Patanes and Soviet type cranes we used to have once. However, you can't see them very often here as Builders have switched over to German cranes. They are easier to control and more efficient, so you can work faster with them. Those cranes are really fast and reliable. Good machines. And how long have you worked on Liebherr cranes? Uh, about eight years, I think. And you worked on the Liebherr on the construction of the other tower, West, didn't you? Yes, I worked with there on the fifth crane and then switched over to this one here. And what's the maximum height you have worked at? This is the maximum height. I also thought so. I hope to keep working on this crane to the end. I don't know about others, but to me, the higher we go, the more interesting it becomes. And how do you like the Moscow views from here? You must have got used to seeing them, right? It's true. And there are all kinds of weather conditions up here, right? Yeah, you can look round and you will see the sun shining in the south and rain falling in the north, and it is great. As I said, the higher you get, the more interesting it is. Uh, in what weather conditions it is uh, forbidden to operate? We are forbidden to work in heavy rain or snow and in strong wind. We can operate in winds up to 16 meters a second or 36 miles an hour. Uh, we can lift small loads in such winds. and winds up to 12 meters a second or 27 miles an hour. We can lift forms and assemble them. In winds stronger than 16 meters a second, we put the crane down the wind and disengage the brakes. If the wind changes its direction, the crane turns with the wind. Then the crane won't collapse, won't be able to sail. And that's it. Thank you, Dmitry.
don't want to distract you from work. Sure, stay with us in the flow, folks. Good luck to all.